Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 23 video. In today's episode, one of my commenters asked me once again to rebuild the Seattle Seahawks, but with the new addition of Jackson Smith and Jigba, Zach Charbonnet, I believe is how you pronounce it, and Devon Witherspoon. They also got C. Young here, Cameron Young out of Mississippi State. Also, if you want these rosters, go look at my tutorials playlist. It should be, just click on my profile, go to playlist, and it should be one of my most recent tutorials if you want these rosters. These are my personal rosters. But this is what we got going for the team right now. I really thought if uh, AR-15, uh, Anthony Richardson, fell to uh, the Seahawks, they would have taken him because that's what the rumors are. But he went the pick before them. So they still got... Devon Witherspoon at pick number five, which was a great pick. And then they also had um, J JSN. So that was a great pickup. Charbonnet or uh, Charbonnet, my bad is how you pronounce it, I think. A lot of people hate it on this pick and saying, oh, you already have Kenneth Walker. But having a one-two punch here, I mean, DJ Dallas would have honestly been just a good enough one-two punch, in my opinion. I think DJ Dallas is very underrated. But um, still, I think it's not a bad pick here. I would rather see the Seahawks trade up for John Michael Schmitz or Sirens Torrance on the offensive line. I think that would have been amazing. And Geno Smith would have been ecstatic for Charbonnet or with JSN and John Michael Schmitz or uh, our Sirens Torrance. That would have been great too. Still a great pick, but I still think offensive linemen, interior offensive line would have been a lot better. But on the defensive side of the ball, we definitely need to work on defensive tackles since they did pass on Jalen Carter. Devon Witherspoon is still a great pickup either way. Not hating. Uh, Jamal Adams, a lot of people forget, forget Jamal Adams. He's amazing when he's on the field. I believe it's Torres ACL in week one last year or maybe week two. But in free agency, they got Devin Bush. Bobby Wagner came back. I don't know how long I'm going to keep him here because he is regressing, but he is still going to be a good player overall just in Madden. How old is he? Like 34, 32, actually. My bad. He's still going to regress pretty hard, and especially with normal dev. Uchenna Nuuso, Draymond Jones, and Jerron Reed. I'm going to move... I'm going to move Uchenna Nuuso down to left end over Reed just because... Um, I, I think he should be playing at the left end position whenever we're in a 4-3 scheme and he is an edge rusher. We're not playing in a 3-4 unless they change it in real life. Draymond Jones is a right end. I was just making sure. And yeah, we should be pretty good. I like everything that we got here. Tariq Woolen, of course. Kobe Bryant, the uh, Walmart version of Kobe Bryant, spelled with a C and uh, a Y instead of an E. But anyways, specialist. I think I like that. DJ Dallas there is fine. I'm a Julian Love they got. I'm going to put Jordan Brooks as the sub linebacker. And while we have Bobby Wagner, I'm just going to make use of him. Devon Witherspoon is going to be in the slot as well. JSN is going to be in the slot. Team looks pretty good. Also, I have to, uh, what should we call it? I have to go in and change Noah Fant to the starters that have Will Disley just because Noah Fant has starred Evan. Will Disley does not. But anyways, it's time to move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are three and four as we are second in the division behind the five and two San Francisco 49ers coming off a close loss to the Chargers. Bobby Wagner suddenly doesn't want to be here because we're the underdog in the Super Bowl chase. I'm pretty sure that's why he returned to the Seahawks, but okay. Uh, Devin Bush, let's see what we got. I'll do five years with him. That's fine with me as a left outside linebacker. Mike Jackson, da, da, da. everyone else here, not interested in Drew Locke. Yeah, I don't know why Bobby Wagner just doesn't want to be here. I'm going to offer him the base deal regardless, and he resigns. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it does. Sure, he resigns for another two years. Choose a draft class, keep auto-generated rookies. That's fine with me. And it looks like a receiver is at the top of the board. What do we got here for the scouting national focus? I think I am going to have to go... Defensive tackle? I was about to say interior offensive line, but I do think defensive tackle may be a little bit more important considering our defensive line is kind of lacking right now. But um, what else do we have? Players ready to negotiate. We are going to... Yeah, we already looked at that, my bad. But anyways, guys, apart from that, who are the trade offers? Will Disley and Julian Love? No. Anyways, let's move into the playoffs. Here we are missing the playoffs 7 and 10. Thank you, EA, for this garbage that you produce every single year. Stats and awards, let's see what we got. Gino did horrible. <laughs> I need to replace him. 28th best offense, 22nd best defense. Back to Gino ways. 25 to 17 is not a good ratio. 86 pass rating is eh. So uh, rushing wise, Kenneth Walker, 12 touchdowns, 4.4 per carry, 1,100 yards. Tyler Lockett, one yard shy from a 1,000 yard season. How did JSN do actually? JSN, he had, a, he had a pretty good rookie season. Wish he had more touchdowns though. 
Defensively, Bobby Wagner, 122 tackles, tackles for a loss, 14 for Echen Nwusu, sacks 21 and a half for Echen Nwusu, that's going to be superstar Draymond Jones, 9 and a half sacks, interceptions, 4 for Quandre Diggs, safety, 0 defensive touchdown, 0. So I definitely need to draft a quarterback because Geno is not going to get it done. Let's move in to the offseason. And the Bengals beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. Jermaine Pratt wins the Super Bowl MVP. Lamar Jackson wins the league MVP. There are no other awards here, but let's see what we got for the roster upgrades, if we have any. Offensively, of course, Geno regresses. Had a terrible season anyways. Offensively, Noah Fant gets superstar. I don't know why. Didn't even have over a 1,000 yards. Chenna Wuso gets superstar. No surprise there. Quandre Diggs gets superstar, which is a surprise. And where it is... Okay, I was about to say, where's my right outside linebacker? It's Uchenna Wuso. I almost forgot that. But um, yeah, anyways, decent upgrades with Uchenna Wuso. So let's move into the re-signings. In the NFC West, we have nobody retiring for the Seattle Seahawks. Maybe our head coach, Pete Carroll, who aka is me, might retire. I don't know how that works. And re-signings, nobody. I don't, I don't really care about anyone there. How much money do we have to spend? We have $65 million. Let's hit free agency. So after free agency, there wasn't anyone I really liked, so I just skipped out. Now I'm picking up our bald quarterback, Martin Kincaid. 6'2", 230, out of Virginia, 23 years old, hidden development, 93 throw power, good athleticism across the board, A awareness, A medium accuracy, A short accuracy. He's pretty accurate, I would say. Probably has A deep accuracy too. He's going to be the quarterback of the future for us. In the second round, I'm picking up center Jerry Waddell out of Mississippi State. 6'2", 300 pounds, a hidden development, 87 strength. So here we are after the draft. Kincaid is a 78 overall. Wow, that was a really, really, really good pick. And then Westbrook, who is this guy? Looks like a CPU picked up this guy named Westbrook. Who is this? I guess CPU picked up a hidden development fullback. What a baller. Okay, that's nice to see. Waddell is a 76 overall, so that's a great start for him. Simmons doesn't seem to be that good. Abraham Lucas is actually pretty underrated as well, but great offensive drafting here. It looks like the CPU picked up this guy. Uh, 6'1", 224. Can I move you to right outside linebacker? I feel like that would just be a better position. You're just going to be a coverage right outside linebacker, and especially since we're playing in a 4-3 scheme, a coverage right outside linebacker would make a little bit more sense. Not really, I guess. Uh, <laughs> looks like he doesn't really have that much um, ability to play here since we have Darrell Taylor and Boye Mafe here. Boye Mafe was not really a good pick either. I'm going to start Jordan Brooks over Bobby Wagner since they're both the same overall and Bobby Wagner is not really going to be here. Defensive tackle, I picked this guy up, I believe, in the second round and he's all right, but I definitely need more at the defensive tackle position. Hopefully I can get that in free agency. Brooks is going to move up and everything else seems pretty good. I have no idea why Julian Love is not playing his correct position, and he's just going to be in the slot now, but I guess Devon Witherspoon's going to lose his spot in the slot, but he is now going to be a secondary cornerback, but let's move in to the midseason mark. And here we are as we are 3-3 three and three with the rookie. Okay, it looks like the offensive rushing game is bad. I mean, we do have three great receivers, our defense of points per game is just not holding. So our defense is not holding. Surprisingly, our rushing defense is fourth. We have a breakout QB challenge here. So this will reveal to us what his development is. Let's skip all this crap. I don't need to know about any of it. X marks the spot for dev trade to superstar X factor. So that means our quarterback came with superstar development. He's not going to get X factor. Having four touchdowns and 400 yards in a game is ridiculous. But um, yeah, again, I think I am just going to go with defensive tackle as my scouting national focus. We desperately need that. And what else do we need? We need the players ready to negotiate. And I'm going to try to see if we can get that X factor. Chen Nuosu, just going to give player friendly deal three years. He resigns. Jordan Brooks wants to come back. I'll give him that five year base deal. He resigns. Noah Fant. I'll just increase the money a little bit. He resigns. Julian Love, no. Honestly, I just don't want him. Damian Lewis, I do want back because he does have star dev and he is pretty young. Here he signs. Jaron Reed, Darrell Taylor. DJ Dallas honestly wouldn't be a bad player to sign if he has high interest because I can get him for pretty cheap because he is a rotational back and our specialist, which he does get some touches, not much, as long as he's stupid cheap. But anyways, can we beat the 1-6 Vikings and get the Superstar X Factor? I highly doubt, doubt we get the Superstar X Factor. And we beat the Vikings, okay. They were one in six, no surprise. And we're at the top of the division now. But did we get the X Factor? Not too much, he says. No dev upgrade, but hey, he's a superstar dev. That's all I wanted. Anyways, let's move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 11 and six, top of the division with our new rookie quarterback. That's what I like to see. Let's see the stats and awards. 
Martin Kincaid. Very, very good rookie season. Is that close to MVP? Third for MVP in his rookie season. Fourth best offense in the NFL. And defensively, he is fourth as well. Top five team. Well, top four in both subjects. Well, both um, offense, defense. You know what I mean. 5,100 yards, 46 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 111 pass rating. Amazing rookie year. Kenneth Walker, 11 touchdowns, 4.6 per carry. JSN, 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns. Great. Tyler Lockett, 9 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. DK, almost 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Looking at it defensively, Jordan Brooks, 124 tackles, tackles for a loss, 18 for Echen Nwuso, sacks, 15 for Echen Nwuso, 12 for Draymond Jones. Uh, two interceptions for Bobby Wagner. Safeties on the team is zero. Defensive touchdowns is zero. Honestly, I thought we might may, may need to replace Draymond Jones because he was just gonna not really going to be that good. But 12 sacks in a season, yeah, for sure. I, I'm going to keep that. We beat the Giants 35-17. to 17. Can we beat the New Orleans Saints with two overalls higher than them? Can we do that? And we went, okay, 49-24. to 24. Here to face the uh, the Cowboys, who are a whole four overalls higher than us. So that might be hard. Let's move in to the conference championship. Here we are against the Dallas Cowboys as it is a 7-0 start for us. 14-0, and we get the ball at half two. 14-3, 21-3. Unstoppable with Martin at QB, dude. 21 to 10. Oh, never mind. We just got stopped. Okay, 28 to 13. 31 to 13. Okay, their offense is kind of responding. 38 to 20. 41 to 20. Yeah, game's over. We're going to the Super Bowl with a rookie QB. Let's go. Here we are to face off against Russell Wilson, I believe. Are we going to have a Russell Wilson rematch and a Seahawks, what, Super Bowl 48 rematch between the Seahawks and the Broncos? Let's see what we got. Broncos, Russell Wilson versus his old team. What a storyline. Man, but let's see what we got. Any upgrades? Maybe the rookie got X Factor? Yes, he got X Factor. That, what a pick, dude. What an absolute unit. DK, I believe, was already an X Factor. JSN, I kind of feel like deserves X Factor, but I'm not going to give it to him. Westbrook, we don't know yet, but uh, that's baller, dude. And also our center, Waddell, or Waddle, no, Waddell, definitely got... um. Star Dev there. He already had Star Dev. Defensively, Chenu Wuso gets X Factor. Nice to see. And uh, do, do, do. anyone else? No, I don't see anyone else. Still an amazing season. Already a successful rebuild. Let's see if we can beat the former QB, Russell Wilson, and take it all. Here we are in the Denver Broncos rematch as it is a... Oh, okay. We had a chance to capitalize there twice in the red zone. We only came up with three points. 10 to 14 right now the end of the second quarter 19 to 14 huge run by k9 19 okay 1925 constant scoring left and right 31 to 19 26 oh no way 26 to 31 then 34 to 31 just hold hold them down hold them down come on i think we have that fourth down alert what are you doing i think we got that did we yeah 34 to 31 and the broncos will not get their revenge on us as the for the first time ever in nfl history a starting rookie quarterback has won the super bowl and for that let's go see who the super bowl mvp is your super bowl mvp is jamal adams dak prescott wins the league mvp cowboys fans it would never happen in real life don't get your hopes up rookie of the year is obviously martin kincaid no other debate there but apart from that let's move in to the re-signings in the nfc west nobody retires that's okay with me see what we got here for the players ready to negotiate we have julian love who has some for some reason has star dev now i don't know why he's a second string dj dallas if he wants to come back can we do player friendly four-year deal dj he thinks free agency will last him better i doubt anyone would sign you dj because you're only not even a 70 overall so let's move in to the draft actually let's move into free agency after free agency, we got Byron Murphy Jr. to add to our dominant secondary. We got Ed Oliver to help our interior defensive line. And I got DJ Dallas back on the exact same contract, except, uh, no, I did have four years before on a cheaper contract even than before. So he should have accepted it the first time. Sucks to be him. Let's move in to the draft. In the first round, I'm selecting right guard Jamal Parson out of Boise State. 6'5", 323, 87 strength, 79 jumping for being 6'5", and 323 is crazy. Hidden development, he's going to be a starter day one. In the second round, I'm picking up defensive tackle Oscar Andrews out of Ole Miss. 6'2", 285, 90 strength at 285 is great. Hidden development, he's going to be amazing. Now, this is the team after the draft. Parsons should be a right guard, so I'm going to cut this guy, Darius Smith, out of Oregon. Sorry to anyone that liked Darius Smith. I'm sure none of you did. 
Anyways, Parson is going to be my starting a left guard, of course, or right guard. And, um, yeah, good first-round pick as he's already a 72 off the rip. I mean, with the skill points of 71. Not a bad pick, not a crazy one either. And it is going to bench him again if I do that. So we're going to move him up. Kincaid, RDS X-Factor, 86 overall after one season. is crazy. Love the team that we got. Uh, anything else here that I really want? Yeah, I already let Bobby Wagner go. Andrews is going to move up. And yeah, we should be pretty good. Devon Witherspoon is back in the slot position where he's going to crack skulls in there. And yeah, I think overall, like what we got. Charbonnet, DJ Dallas. Yep. Let's move in to our third season. Already have a successful rebuild and get into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 4-2 second in the division. We're going to be playing the Rams next week who are at, currently at the top of the division. What do I specifically need? I'm thinking maybe more depth at linebacker. I always like depth. I mean, Abraham Lucas is fine at right tackle. Receivers are great. No offense. I don't need depth tight ends in Madden. They do literally nothing. In real life, they do something, but in Madden, no. Yeah, just depth at middle linebacker, I guess, would be the only thing. Devon Witherspoon should not even be here. I have to adjust these like I do every single video. He should have a five-year deal because he should get the fifth-year option as well. So uh, let's see what we got. Five years. Let's do that. And then Quandre Diggs, I do want back. Two years. Let's increase the bonus a little bit more. He resigns. JSN, do want back as well. And I'm also going to need a couple others actually as well. Don't think they'll have it. JSN should be on a five-year contract. He was also a first-round pick. Draymond Jones, I'll do a three-year deal with you. He resigns. Well, Disley, I don't need you as depth. Gino, your contract is up. Are you a mentor? I want to see this tag. He is a mentor. Mm, I do want Gino back then. How much would you go? Damn, that's expensive, dude. Why do you cost that much to be a backup? I hope his overall goes down. Zach Charbonnet needs to be a four-year deal and for some reason it's not doing that charbonnet please listen to me i need you to be a four-year contract not a three-year contract four-year contract because that's actually what happens in real life and eskridge did it Derek call can honestly walk cameron young can walk too even though these guys should have four-year contracts as well they're just so irrelevant on the depth chart that it doesn't matter i'm not gonna waste my time so anyways guys apart from that it is now time to move in to the playoffs here we are going 12 and 5 top of the division first round by wow the rams just fell out of it completely stats and awards let's see what we got martin kincaid balling once again is that mvp martin kincaid really six that's surprising fifth best offense in the nfl Still had a really good season just like last year, but a little bit less yards, I guess. Third best defense, 4,900 yards, 45 touchdowns, the 16 interceptions is why. 106 pass rating, Kenneth Walker, not 100, 16 touchdowns. Imagine if it was 116 touchdowns, breaking so many records. 4.8 average, 1,300 yards, JSN, 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns. No offense, six touchdowns, 1111 yards, and 111 receptions. That's a lot of ones right there. Imagine if he had 11 touchdowns, that'd be quite a lot. DK, 10 touchdowns, almost 1,100 yards, and Tyler Lockett, 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. Looking at it for Jordan Brooks, 117 tackles, tackles for a loss, 17 for Chen Uso, sacks 16 for Chen Uso, 11.5 for Ed Oliver, 9 for Draymond Jones, 4 interceptions for Tariq Woolen, safety, 0 defensive touchdowns is 0. So, anyways, let's see what we got here in the divisional round. And I'm not going to play any of these games unless we get back-to-back -back Super Bowls because there's no point. We've already won the rebuild. Against the 87 overall New York, <coughs> my bad, 87 overall New York Giants who are 8-9, and is what I meant to say before I sneezed, and um, okay, beat them. Here to face the 9-8, the divisional rivals, the San Francisco 49ers who snuck into the playoffs, but don't underestimate them, they're an 88 overall, and we lose. They're going to have a rematch with the Chiefs, let's move in to the offseason. And the Niners lose again. I think that's the exact same score that it was last time, 24 to 20. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow wins the league MVP. Zach Taylor also gets the coach of the year. There are no awards here for the Seattle Seahawks. Still had a really good season. Let's see what we got for the roster upgrades. JSN maybe has X Factor. I believe he should by now. He doesn't? I want to see these stats, dude. Stats. Come on. 14 touchdowns. He had back-to-back -back years to where he had really, really good seasons. 14 touchdowns. I'm going to give him X-Factor. If you want to complain about him getting an X-Factor, dude, he had 14 touchdowns, a lot of yards, 1,200 yards in the previous season, 13 touchdowns, 1,300 yards. 
Back-to-back -back seasons like that is nothing to frown at, dude. I'm giving him X Factor. If you want to cry and complain, I don't care. I'm going to give it to him regardless because it's my channel. Kincaid is already up to a 91 overall without the boost. Parson is only a star dev. That's fine with me. Lucas, I'm just going to keep him here. I'm not going to replace him. He's an 81, so he's pretty solid overall. Andrews only has star dev. He's still going to be the starter, though. Witherspoon is staying in the slot. He's probably going to surpass Tariq Woolen just because of his superstar dev. Maybe I get a replacement for Quandre Diggs. That could be an option. I don't know if it will be. Anyways, let's move into the re-signings. In the NFC West, to, to, uh, Lo, Taylor Lewan is what I meant to say. I kept going tongue-tied, my boy. Taylor Lewan retires with the San Francisco 49ers. Will Disley, we're going to pass on Gino. Okay, his contract got a lot cheaper. I'll do two years on this, even though that's still expensive for a backup. We have $66 million. Everyone else here can walk. Don't really care. I'm going to look for a Quandre Diggs replacement and more depth at middle linebacker. So let's hit free agency. After free agency, we get JOK, who does not want to be here. I don't care. Money changed his mind. We're going into the fourth and final season. We have plenty of it, so let's go into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up a middle linebacker out of Texas A&M, Mar Marquise, or is that something else? Whatever. I think it's Marquise Brown out of Texas A&M, 6'1", 247, hidden development, 87 speed, 90 acceleration. He's going to be a depth of linebacker for us. In the second round, I'm picking up defensive tackle Raheem Peoples out of Arizona State, 6'4", 342 pounds. He's a big boy, 95 strength, hidden dev. He looks sick. And in the third round, I'm picking up defensive back Felix Sims out of Oregon. I'm not even looking at these guys' stats or anything. I'm just seeing their main attributes on the side. And as soon as I see like an A or all across the board Bs, I'm like, yeah, good enough. And I just select them. 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 5'11", 182, hidden development. Now, this is the team going into the fourth and final season. I may do a career simulation with Martin Kincaid because the dude's been balling. Dude's crazy. So, J JSN gets up to an X factor. I'm sure many people are excited about that. Charbonnet is still a 77, which isn't crazy. W Witherspoon, 87. Sims only a 69. Cody, I don't know who that is. I didn't draft him. I'm going to put brown up and peoples is a 74 move andrews up and then i'll have abraham there a lot of depth at the d line this the fourth and final season we've already won the super bowl so it's already a successful rebuild it's now time to move in to the playoffs here we are in the playoffs going 14 and 3 top of the division no first round bye who took it from us the panthers with bryce young mm. okay let's see what we got here for these stats and awards we have martin kincaid balling again Fourth best offense in the NFL, second best defense. Martin Kincaid gets fifth for MVP. Okay, still he's been top. He's been what top six for MVP his entire career. Forty nine hundred yards, forty touchdowns, seven interceptions, one hundred and eleven pass rating. That seems like an MVP season to me. Kenneth Walker, eighteen touchdowns, four point nine per carry, fifteen hundred yards. Great season. Tyler Lockett, 102 receptions, 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns. Amazing. That should be superstar dev. JSN, 11 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. DK Metcalf, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Looking at it defensively, Jordan Brooks, 104 tackles, tackles for a loss, 14 for Echenna Wusso, sacks, 22.5 for Echenna Wusso, 10.5 for Ed Oliver, interceptions, 3 for Devon Witherspoon, safeties, 1 for Echenna Wusso, 1 for Ed Oliver, 1 for Austin Bradham, who was my second round pick in year one, and Devon Witherspoon with a one defensive touchdown. Devon Witherspoon could go crazy and get X-Factor. Also, Uchenna Wuso had 22 and a half sacks. Gotta mention that. That's crazy as well. I think that ties the record with Michael Strahan. What do we got? Beating the Saints 21 to 18. Here you face the 86 overall Giants. What? Were six overalls higher than them? This should be a win. Win. How did the 83 overall Rams go 12 and 5 and meet us in the conference championship? Let's wipe this team. We're nine overalls higher. I swear if we lose. Come on, dude. Let's go. We win. 23 to 17 here to face the Kansas City Chiefs. And you know what? I'm going to simulate this. I know many people may not want to see that. Actually, actually, a lot of people may want to see this. We're two overalls higher than the Chiefs, and they're 14 and 3 as well. So. Might as well jump in, but let's see what we got. Tyler Lockett does get superstar dev. Our fullback has superstar dev, which is awesome to see. Kenneth Walker had 18 touchdowns, 4.9 per carry or even higher, and 1,500 yards. He had a crazy season, dude. I'm giving him superstar dev. Or it was 19 touchdowns, but 1,500 yards as a running back is a very hard task. Brown, da -da -da. anyone else that has a development upgrade? No, no Devon Witherspoon X Factor. Either way, still very good rebuild. Made it to the Super Bowl twice, won it once. Maybe we're about to win it again. Let's see if we can do it. JSN has X-Factor, Devon Witherspoon has Superstar. Let's move into it. 
Here we are in Atlanta to face the Kansas City Chiefs. 0 to 7 start for the Chiefs. 0 to 10. 0 to 7. Damn. <laughs> Getting humiliated already off the rip. This is must what, must what it feels like for the Broncos in that Broncos Seahawks Super Bowl. 20 to 17. 27 to 17. 7 to 20 to 7. What, what is happening? 27 to 17. No way. The three score comeback? Come on. Come on. No. Oh, we had a three score comeback. That was crazy. 27 to 33. We're not going to win two Super Bowls, but we did make it to two Super Bowls. It was very, very fun to do this. Anyways, guys, apart from that, let me know which team you guys want me to do next. I am going to be looking at the Super Bowl MVP real quick. It is most likely going to be Patrick Mahomes. Very close game. Not really too upset. They're a 90 overall. We're a 92 overall. Not really a huge gap in overall there, but of course, Patrick Mahomes is goaded in simulation and in real life. Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP. Jalen Hurts wins league MVP. Really no Seahawks awards throughout the entire thing. Super happy, like really happy with the team I built. Really happy I did this suggestion. One of my most fun rebuilds I've had in a long time. JSN gets all the way up to a 94 overall superstar X factor after being in the league for four years only. And then Devon Witherspoon gets up to an 89 overall with the boost, superstar development. And um, 26 years old, dude's balling. We're having a really, really good time with this rebuild. I did at least. But let me know if you guys did enjoy this rebuild. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one.